in uh, the Gates of Kiev chapter, you write about Volodymyr Zelensky in the early days of the war. Uh, what are most important moments to you about this time? The the first hours and days of the invasion. The first hours and the first days were the most difficult psychologically. The rest of the world really didn't expect Kiev to last for more than a few days. Didn't expect Ukraine to last for more than a few weeks. And uh, uh, all the data suggested that that's what would happen. Ukraine would collapse, would be taken over. Uh, Putin called his uh, his uh, war a special military operation, which suggests you also expectations about the scope, expectations about the time. So, uh, uh, semi-military, semi-police, police operation. So, every reasonable person in the world believed that that would would happen. And it's the heroism of quote unquote unreasonable people, like. Zelensky, like the commander of Ukrainian armed forces Zaluzhny, like mayors of the cities Klitschko and others. I'm just naming names that are familiar to, to almost all of us now. But there are thousands of those people, unreasonable people, who decided that it was unreasonable to attack their country. And uh, that 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 was that was the most the most difficult times and days. And speaking about Zelensky, every I understand reasonable leader in the West was trying to convince him to leave Ukraine and to set a government in exile in in Poland or in London. Um, and it was reasonable to accept his uh, one of his predecessors, Mr. Yanukovych, fled Kiev. Uh, a few months before that, in Afghanistan, the president of Afghanistan fled Afghanistan. That was a reasonable thing to expect. And uh, he turned out to be very, very unreasonable in that, in that sense. That's, that comes with the guts, his guts and guts people around him and, and Ukrainians in general. Why do you think he stayed in Kiev, this former comedian who played a president on TV when Kiev is being invaded by the second most powerful military in the world? Because I think he believes in things. And 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 one of, of those things was that if he, a president, and he is in the presidential office, he is there to play his role to the end. And uh, another thing, my personal, again, I never met Volodymyr Zelensky. Mm. My personal understanding of him is that he is, uh, has talent that uh, helped him in his career before the presidency and then helps now. He fills the audience and then channels the, 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 the attitude of the audience and, and uh, amplifies it. And I think that uh, another reason why he didn't leave Kiev was that he felt the audience. The audience in that, in that particular context were the Ukrainians. So he had a sense that the Ukrainians would unify because he was quite, if you look at the polls before the war, quite unpopular. And, and there was a, still divisions and uh, factions and the government is divided. I mean, there, there's the East and the West and all this kind of stuff. You, you think he had a sense that this could un unite people? Uh, the East and the West was not already such an issue after, um, after Crimea and part of Donbass being gone. So U Ukraine was much more united than it was before. Uh, he brought to power his, before that, really non-existent party of regions on his personal popularity. But the important thing is that he uh, created uh, a majority in the parliament, which really reflected the unity that existed among Ukrainians that didn't was not there before. He won with 73% of the population. Uh, of, of of those who took part in in the elections, his predecessor Petro Poroshenko also carried 
ninety percent of the of the precincts, and, and the same happened with Zelensky. So the country unified after twenty fourteen to a degree it was impossible to to imagine before, and Zelensky felt that Zelensky knew that, and um, that that that's where where the talent of politician really matters. And that that's that's something that you can see beyond. Beyond just data, and 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 you can feel that. Uh, apparently, Yeltsin had that ability. 